take a tin can and heat it with its cork in the open position. The heat will make the air inside hot. The hot air will leave the container. Now, quickly close the container. We will notice that the tin can collapses. Why does this happen? The air inside the tin container is expelled partially on heating. When we close the container, there is no way for the air outside to enter the tin. The air pressure inside is less than the air pressure outside the tin. The air outside the tin presses against its surface. This crushes the tin. The surface area of the tin is reduced till such time that the pressure inside becomes same as the pressure outside. Wind. We know that air is all around us. When air moves horizontally from one place to another, it is called wind. All parts of the earth do not receive equal amount of heat from the sun. Places near equator receive maximum heat as compared to the poles. This movement of air from high pressure area to low pressure area is called wind. The instrument used to find out the direction in which the wind is blowing is called a wind vane or weather vane. It consists of a pointer and a vane fixed to the opposite ends of a horizontal rod which is pivoted at its center so that it is free to rotate either way when the wind blows. Wind turns the vane towards the side of which it is blowing. The direction in which wind is blowing is then given by the pointer. The speed of the wind depends upon the pressure difference between two regions. When pressure difference is high, wind moves from high pressure region to low pressure region. Anemometer is a device which measures speed of the wind. There are two types of anemometers, cup anemometer and propeller anemometer. Take an empty bottle and then crumble a small piece of paper smaller than the mouth of an empty bottle. Place the paper ball inside the mouth of the bottle. Now, blow on the paper ball to force it into the bottle. When we blow into the mouth of the bottle, the air near the mouth has higher speed. This decreases the pressure near the mouth of the bottle. As the air inside the bottle is higher than the mouth, so it pushes the ball out. Take a strip of paper of about 20 cm long and 3 cm wide between our thumb and forefinger. Now, we blow over the paper. We will observe that the paper strip moves upwards. This is because the blowing over the paper reduces the air pressure above the strip. Take a test tube and stretch a balloon tightly over the neck of the tube with the help of a tape. Now, take three beakers. Pour simple water in first beaker, hot water in second beaker and cold water in third beaker. Insert the test tube with the balloon in the simple water and then in the hot water and observe for three minutes. There is a change in the shape of the balloon. Now take the tube out and cool it in the room temperature. Now place the tube in cold water for three to four minutes. We will observe the change in the shape of the balloon. Take two paper bags of approximately same size. Hang these in inverted position on the two ends of a stick. Tie this stick in the middle with a thread. Now, hold the stick by the thread like in a balance and put a burning candle below one of the bag as in the animation. We will observe that the balance of the two bags is disturbed. This shows that on heating, the warm air rises up and pushes the bag above the candle. From this, we conclude that the warm air is lighter than the cold air. Uneven heating between the equator and the poles. Equatorial areas are more heated up because direct sunlight falls on them. The hot air rises up and cool air from the surrounding places takes its place. This generates the wind currents. As we know, at the poles, the air is colder than that at latitudes. The warm air at these latitudes rises up and the cold air from the polar regions rushes in to take its place. Thus, 
wind circulation is set up from the poles to the warmer latitudes. Sea Breeze During daytime, the land gets heated up more quickly than the water in the sea. The hot air on the land becomes lighter and rises, while cooler air from the sea blows towards the land to take its place. This causes sea breeze. Land breeze. At night, the land is cooled much faster than the sea water. Therefore, the air over the sea is hotter than the air over the land. Therefore, at night, a current of air blows from the land to the sea. This causes land breeze. Thunderstorm A thunderstorm, also known as electrical storm, a lightning storm, thunder shower, or simply a storm, is a form of weather characterized by the presence of lightning and its acoustic effect on the Earth's atmosphere, known as thunder. Cyclonic winds are irregular winds of short duration. In a cyclone, a low pressure area is surrounded by high pressure areas from all sides. This results in winds blowing from all sides towards the center of the cyclone, an oasis of calm which is known as the eye of the cyclone. Destruction caused by cyclones. Floods wash away human beings and animals and make water unfit for drinking. There can be outbreak of diseases like cholera, jaundice or viral fever due to intake of impure water. Water gets contaminated because of floating corpses of animals and human beings and mixing of sewage stored. A cyclone causes heavy floods. It uproots electricity supply and telecommunication lines. Power supply shuts down and telephones stop functioning. Road and rail movements come to a halt because floods damage rail tracks and breach roads. Rail movements are also disrupted because of communication failure. The inclement weather conditions also disrupt air services. Seaports stop working due to high winds, heavy rains and poor visibility. Sometimes ships overturn or are washed ashore. The high speed winds bend and pluck out the trees and plants. A cyclone tears away wall sidings and blows off roots of houses. Houses collapse and people are rendered homeless. In villages, kacha houses get blown away. The speeding winds cause loose metal and wooden sheets to fly, turning them into potential killers. Broken glass pieces can cause serious injuries. The floodwaters can take time to recede. The floodwaters can turn the fields salty. Before the cyclonic season, the roofs and walls of the houses should be checked, repaired and strengthened. Trees and branches close to homes should be trimmed or cut. During the cyclonic season, one should listen to radio or TV weather reports and spread news of an approaching cyclone to other people in the neighborhood. Identify the location of safe shelters well in advance and memorize the routes to reach them. Keep a list of emergency addresses and telephone numbers. Disconnect electrical items or avoid touching them. Stay indoors as far as possible. Keep a good supply of dry food items, candles, battery operated torches, etc. Never take shelter under a tree as it can be uprooted by heavy winds and rains or be struck by lightning. Keep emergency medicines, rations, water, clothes and other necessary items ready for use.